friends and family, loved ones, honored guests, welcome to the Swift Coles house. Welcome to this beautiful day that God has given us, surrounded by his beauty. The word says, this is the day that the Lord has created. We're to celebrate, to rejoice, and be glad in moments just like this. So let's let our first act of today's wedding to be gracious, humble, and kind, and thankful people. Let's go before God and give him the honor and the glory that he and he only deserves. If you join me in prayer. Our gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for this very day. We thank you, God, that the word tells us where two or three are gathered in your name, that you're here with us in your place. So today, this house, this tent, becomes a safe place, God, welcoming your spirit. God, we thank you for each person that's here attending today. We thank you for the immense amount of love and support that is shown by the family and friends, the loved ones, the honored guests to be here on this very special day. God, we thank you so much for the Bodie family. We thank you for who you are, and what you've been doing, what you are doing, and what you're about to do in their lives. God, we thank you for those that are here with us physically today, and we thank you for those that are watching us from heaven, God. We remember the tender spirits that poured so often the love that Rachel and Chad have here today. So God, we give you the honor and the glory as your people here as the children of God in the place of God, welcoming in the love and the presence of God. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Well, friends, what a beautiful day to be here and rejoice in the Bodie family. What a beautiful day to be here, not because of the weather, not because of the place, but because of God's love for all of us. And today we get to share that and see that displayed in Rachel and Chad as they come together in their best day ever. They come together in their best moment as two best friends come together and say a few words in front of all of you to symbolically tie together the rest of their lives as walking as husband and wife. Today is a day that I know they go into reverently and filled full of love and hope that they've talked a lot about a lot with you as together they come to this day to express their love to each other. I know it's a day filled full of joy, filled full of great emotions, of happiness and happy tears and lots of laughter and love and dancing and celebrating. As I mentioned, this is the day God's given us to celebrate, to rejoice in the Bodies. So we take advantage of that today. We take advantage of the fact that we can all gather safely in this place in love and share God's love with each other. It's a day where these two best friends have had many conversations that have led them here. Many conversations over the last four years that have strengthened their relationship, that have brought them to this threshold of this altar to display their love to each other and for each other and with each other. It's a day where we're reminded of God's grace and His peace and His presence here with us as these two best friends come together to share their love with each other. It's a day that I'm reminded of Paul's words where he gave us the blueprint for a successful marriage, a wedding, and a relationship with each other as I read from 1 Corinthians. Paul said that love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it's not rude. It never dishonors others. It's not self-seeking and never easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, never delights in evil, but it rejoices whenever the truth wins out. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres for true love never fails. In fact, a few sentences later, we hear and now abide it, these three things is faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is why we're here today, to celebrate your love, Rachel and Chad. Today is a day that I have to ask each of you a very important question. As they tie together their intent and their declaration of their marriage to each other, Chad, I'll begin first with you. Chad, do you take Rachel to be your lawful wife, to have, to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health until death do you part? If so, say, I do. I do. And Rachel, do you take Chad to be your lawful husband, to have, to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health until death do you part? If so, say, I do. I do. Today is the day that we rejoice in the unity of this marriage. We rejoice in the agreement. In fact, the book of Job asks an interesting question. It says, how can two people even walk together unless there's agreement? So agreement and unity and walking together is very important in this relationship. It's a moment where we watch two hearts become one. Genesis tells us today, they become one soul, one part, one family, one body. Today we celebrate that goodness. And in a moment of unity, I'd like to have a prayer of unity. And we will conclude that openly with the Lord's Prayer. So if you'd like to recite that with me at the end, please feel free to do so. But if we could join their hands together and join our hearts together, surround them with love and lift them up. Father God, once again, we just turn to you. We thank you, God, for this blessing of this moment. God, we thank you for this voting family. We 
thank you, God, for your touch and your fingerprints and your handprints on them in unity, God. We thank you for the blessing of being here in your presence. God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit, and we thank you for your church, the fellowship of the believers, the gathering of those that are excited today to celebrate the goodness of who you are in their lives. So God, we turn to you as the author, the creator, the perfecter of moments just like this. We thank you, God, for your incredible love for us. Father, we just thank you that when we run out of the words, even to celebrate that you gave Jesus these words that he shared with his disciples, beginning, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We are now coming to the part of our ceremony, where Rachel and Chad are going to say a few words to each other, tokens of their love for each other. They will exchange rings. The rings are a reminder, honestly, of how great the two of them are, and how great this moment in their lives are. They're a reminder of all those conversations that sounded like, Rachel, one day when we're married and continued on with Chad, I will and you will and we will somehow, someday, maybe. And that day becomes today. And that moment becomes now. These rings are a reminder that you're each other's best. You're each other's blessing. You're each other's future and each other's forever and ever. And after this moment, each other's husband and wife. Chad, would you please retrieve those rings? You take these rings as your pledge and your promise from this moment forward, forsaking all others that in sickness and in health, through the good times and the difficult times, for better or for worse, that you do what you've been doing. You choose each other each day, every day, for every reason. You walk with each other and trust each other in the newness of this life together. These rings are a reminder that you're each other's fit forever and ever. So you take these rings as your token and your love and your sign of that. So Chad, if you would take rings. Okay. Beginning it on her left hand, repeating these words to her after me. Okay. Rachel, receive this ring. Rachel, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Beginning now on Chad's left hand. Okay. Repeating these words to him after me. Chad, receive this ring. Chad, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Chad and Rachel, as a minister of the gospel and the power that's vested by the state of Alabama, do so. It's my blessing to pronounce you as husband and wife, sir. You may kiss your bride. Near the day or night